Hi everyone, we're going to talk about literature review this week and I would like to share this PowerPoint presentation and also some resources that I found helpful and interesting. And the topic that I'm going to talk today is, is writing literature review hard? And most of you know it is hard because we need to make sure we're organizing our literature correctly, we're synthesizing, we're sorting them out. So I would like to share blocks that were helpful for me when I was auditing my class and I actually um, found many resources that helped me to organize electronically. So if you don't like digitally organizing your literature, you can also sort them out um, like, you know, systematically by hand like we do. So let me show you some websites. For example, one of them is by Dr. Pat. She's from England. And um, I heard and I read her blogs from the class that I audited, as I told you, from Dr. Hall. And she's very awesome. So if you have questions, you can email her. And she actually replied to me because I saw her name on the ARA conference because she's attending. And um, I introduced myself and talked and, and, you know, shared what I have read. She's really awesome. It's like, you know, she's providing examples and... Um, sharing ideas about literature reviews, how they're important, you know, and, and exactly what does it mean, how you can, you know, work on it. She does lots of workshops as well, but I think it's great to kind of like, if you have your social media, you can follow and just, you know, keep in touch and see what's going on. I really like the way how she writes clear and then also provides the examples. So, and you can see here, you know, my research, she talks about research and books. Another person, another block is um, here you can see by Dr. Ein. And um, he talks about, you know, digital literacy, but also like lots of things on the literature review, how you can write and how you can use videos. I found it interesting, watch his videos and, you know, read the blogs and I had a chance to meet him during our literacy <clears throat> conference I'm sorry and um, yeah so I think they're really great sometimes you just want to you know um, read quickly and see what people are doing and if you're missing something you didn't understand um, they can you know explain as well so and other resources that I would like to share is um, how to organize the literature review and lots of you probably already use like Mendeley. Mendeley is a great, um, I would just say, kind of like a resource where you can collect all your articles, organize them by, uh, you know, alphabetically. And also, if you're in a hurry and you need like, you know, um, citations that you can just, you know, create citations and then save them. Really, really awesome. I just like that to use, you know, in all my articles, for example, they're, you know, by authors organized or titles, you know, and then you can always see what you have add. It's like a file document. So, for example, if you forgot your computer or you don't have access, so you can just go online and just log in and then use that. Also, like Zotero. So Zotero is another like Mendeley program that you can use for keeping your, um, you know, all studies and organize them. The best thing for writing, I found medium.com. And um, I heard about this website and um, writing, you know, little stories to publish from doctoral, intro to doctoral class two years ago. And um, I really, really like it because, you know, it's kind of a little publication, but it gives you an opportunity to write daily. And then if you have something to share, you can share. Uh, here are my stories. For example, I wrote about how to submit a manuscript. Sometimes I just sit in the class and I just make notes. And then I realize that it's kind of a story. So I go back, edit, revise, and then just go ahead and publish. So you can see here how to write a dissertation, read a literature review, and, uh, for example, Thanksgiving event, you know, my, like, um, I think, reflection. So it's really awesome. And there are lots of them. Like, you know, I just um, decided to show you. You can use, for example, this one and then maybe, you know, coggle it. So that helps you kind of, like, to sort out as well. So for going back to the presentation, um, I, I, I'm not going to go through each slide, but you're welcome to take a look and read. Um, so, 
for example, I, I thought like I'll share the types of literature reviews. We know that we have evaluative, exploratory, instrumental. And usually what people do, scholars like academics, they use systematic review based on research questions and meta-analysis is typically like systematic review. And uh, we organize, you know, to make sure that we have the themes and then we find the gaps. So, and also sometimes, don't be surprised, you may end up having uh, living review where you just publish online and then you may also have a review of journal where you collect you know articles and then you go through and then um, try to understand read and then um, synthesize or like empirical study of literature review what we do as a scholar right from different field we just you know find the literature we um, read the text and then we try to find important information that is missing and I just kind of like brought up the spoon taxonomy, everyone knows that, but sometimes it's really important to um, remember, understand, because those processes or domains really helps us to write and analyze the articles. So, and here are some things that when I was reading blogs, I thought helpful to mention. So for example, we when we read, we think like, okay, okay, they said this things is important, you know, we just highlight, we underline. But basically, it's important that, you know, when you're reading one article is um, we're analyzing or, you know, critically evaluating those things. And here are what we need to do, do's and do, like, you know, do not do not do things. So you can read it and take a look. Also, here are the website that I showed you already. For example, they're free, most of them. And then, um, for example, if you would like to start writing your own blogs, you could use Medium. I love it. I really love it. And it's, you know, it's easy to register. And also like Zotero, like Mendeley, I showed you, you can um, use as a resource if you're a person who likes using electronic, you know, documents and articles. So you can just collect them there. If you don't, you just, you know, print them and just read them. So I just thought that it's kind of like a good information to share and the other blog that I shared with you also is about how to write literature review and um, how to define the topic and you know lots of interesting things um, so this is kind of like important to mention also here some advice that they give from their blogs think critically and being consistent develop logical structure to the argument so it helped me to change my sentences topic sentences as well and also i found laundry list we usually sometimes use a lot he said she said and it's actually an amazon is nice book about writing literature reviews he says she says is one of the famous one but if you don't know like laundry list is mostly what we we don't need those words but we use them when we write so dr pet is <clears throat> actually talks about that as well and um you know, the best thing is when you're writing something, it's leaving for some time. That helped me a lot because when we write, we don't see what we're doing and then going back and change it, it's easy. Then, you know, thinking sometimes we just write, write, write. We don't, we don't see our mistakes or the sentences we're writing, but it's important to go back and see what you can get rid of, like laundry list or rewrite them again. Okay, so the next one is um, revise, rewrite and edit. So I found two R's are important when we write. And also they advise um, developing a writing voice, which they want to hear our arguments, how we're doing, how we're um, analyzing and synthesizing the information. So they, I think it's important also to make sure that we know um, how to find the gap. So I found lots of resources from different universities. And also I would like to show this YouTube video that is really great. Uh, I think it's Texas A&M Writing Center. And you can see here, my computer is trying to, I think it's not working, but it's okay. So on YouTube, they have wonderful resources to, you know, to see how to write the literature review. They actually go through and talk about dissertation or proposals or um, about different things, how to write literature review. For example, this one, you know, um, if you type it, get literature review, the literature review, she's from Texas A&M and um, she talks really, really well about um, research studies, how we need to write them. And she provides an example, which is awesome. And there are some other professors from different, you know, states. They actually give the example and then they show from their class. And that's really important also to know. Okay. So uh, then... Literature review, I think it's great also to have the writing group 
that helped me a lot to write my literature reviews, creating writing groups from various disciplines are important. Then you can see if the person is understanding or not. If it's not clear, that means um, the problem is in our writing. So I kind of like um, shared this link. You can um, see different write information about writing groups. The next one is the gap. And I, you know, I struggled myself to find the gap in my literature review because I had different type of writing literature review. You can see that there is a systematic review when you just review the studies on your topic. And then also there is a literature review that you actually collect the terms, you define them, you find, and you try to understand the term itself. So, and I think I, uh, from this university writing center, I found really interesting information about how to